Sarah, hello, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. How are, How are you? you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. And Al you? Alon, solita. Uh, yes, no, it's nothing. Nobody, nobody. Nobody. Um, how do Let's you say? Let's remind um, everybody. Ah, ah, para decir, no ha venido nadie más. Nobody has come. Nobody has come. Okay. Ah, sí, Robert. Hey, there's Creo. Robert. There's Robert. So tell me, Sara, how was your day? Um, a day as a very, very hard. Oh, really? Why? Yes, and the work? At work. Hard work. Hard work. At work. Oh, really? Yes. What, what did you do today? Um, today is uh, wake up um, early five o'clock. Okay. I go to the dry. I go to the. I went to. I, I went my uh, my work. Okay. In early and uh, um, how do you say reunion? Meeting. Ah. Uh, a meeting meeting with my team oh you have a meeting with your team and yeah. how was the meeting um, the, uh, interesting interesting uh view uh how do you say vimos or tocamos with, with those or what do you mean with those um um, varios puntos? How do you oh. say varios puntos? No, no, no. It's not with touch. We saw different points or oh, different okay. aspects. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, okay very interesting. So you had a very interesting day. Thank you, Sarah. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Wow, look, Urania is so happy with a cup of coffee. Hello, Urania. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Very fine. Very fine? Good, good. Yes. Excellent. How was your day? Um... um um quiero ver. <laughs> no this no so good why not tell me um i didn't i didn't work in my thesis okay because um i i have to oh I I meet him. I meet him. I met. I met. I met. I met. I met. I met. I met with some person in my association. Okay. So. Um, okay. I, I met with some people. I met with some, some people. people from I met my association. Some my association. I met with some people. I met with some. I met some with some people from my association. Ah, uh, from my association. Perfect. Thank you. So it was okay. a stressful day. Yes. Yes. Very stressful. So when do you plan to finish your thesis? Um. In this, in this um, month. In oh, this really? Month. Oh. Yes. So you are in the final stages. Yes, en yes. Etapas finales. Final stages. Final stage. Yes. Okay, very good. Interesting. Thank you very much, Urania. Okay. Hello, Carol. Good evening.
Carol. Hello. How are Good you? Good evening. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Okay, how was your day? Um, and day is busy, busy, busy. Okay, and why? What activities did you do today? Actividad de aprendizaje. I have a meeting okay. with my boss. Ouch. Yes. <laughs> uh, revisión de cuentas. <laughs> Ouch. Checking accounts? Yes, checking accounts. Um, okay. But everything uh, in order. Mm, so, so. <laughs> oh, come on, Caro. <laughs> eh, se ha incrementado la, la cuenta por cobrar. Oh, ouch. That's mm -hmm. a problem. Yes. Well, uh, and I pre uh, prepare report. Prepare. Uh, prepare report. Um, uh, Presenté estrategias para disminuir la cuenta. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. So you get, yes. you present to, present to. Uh, I, I present to. Strategies. Uh, strategies. For diminishing. For diminishing. The depths. The depths. Okay. Depths. Depths. Okay. So okay. you tell me, I... Let me see, I presented strategies for diminishing the debts. Okay, thank okay. you. Well, okay. thank you, Carol. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Romeo, Romeo, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. How was your day? It uh, was very complete, complicado, complicated, 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 complicated by traffic everywhere, close the street. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I heard something about that. So, yeah. did you have to go out of San Salvador today? Uh, no, no se, uh, no se pudo. Oh, we couldn't. No okay. pudimos. We no pu couldn't. Say with we me, couldn't. 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 We couldn't. We couldn't. Okay, yeah. We couldn't. Uh, Until tomorrow. Uh, we will not pass uh, areas of the country. Okay, there was not a circulation. Circulation. Uh, varias zonas. Uh, in some several, areas or in different areas. Different areas of the country. From the country. From the country. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's see Mr. Alberto Raimundo. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I, I'm fine. Okay, how was your day? My my day is very was very, very what? Sorry, was very. I okay. Uh, my day was very uh, very uh, busy. Uh, no, very <laughs> uh, it, it's stress stressful stressful. Because for me, it's closing day. Oh, really? And I, I, I have the, I have to prepare the different report, tax report. Okay. Uh, for the uh, uh, headquarters. And okay. Headquarters. Headquarters. Yes. And um, uh, in, in in this day, 
I was, I, I has different meeting. I have uh, different meeting. I have different meeting with a tax consultant and the and other areas. Areas. Areas uh, for, for my company. Okay, and from my company. From my company. Okay. And uh, I, I had meeting with my my team for uh, check the different reports. Okay, excellent. So you had a very busy day. <laughs> very, very complicated. Okay. Yeah, I can understand. So remember, headquarters, you can say headquarters or you can say main offices. It's the same, okay? okay? Both okay. words apply correctly. Ambas palabras aplican correctamente, okay? Okay. You can say headquarters, you can say main office, and it's okay, no problem. So let's see, there's Roberto Suarez. Hello, Mr. Roberto, how are you? How are you, teacher? How's everything, Roberto? Uh, I I feel terrible with my food. Oh yeah, I was uh, gonna ask I, you. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> Okay, good. No problem. No problem. Don't worry. Thank you, Roberto. Flora, good evening. Good evening. Tell me, Flora, how was your day? Very good. Very good? Excellent. Very good. Yes. What did you do today? Um... Yes. ¿Qué hizo este día? Working, work, working. <laughs> okay, I work. Every day. I work. I work. As usual. I work every day. Okay. And what do you do in your job? ¿Qué es lo que hace en su trabajo? I am a secretary. A secretary. Secretary. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And what are your obligations, your responsibilities? ¿Cómo se dice contestar? Dar citas. Answer or set appointments? Set appointments. Okay. Eh, llenar eh, formularios médicos. ¿Cómo okay. se dice? Medical forms. Fill in medical forms. Fill. Fill in. Fill in medical form. Okay, so you have a very busy day. Tiene días ocupados. Sí, sí. Okay, thank you, Flora. Suli, good evening, Suli. Okay. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, Suli, tell me, what did you do today? Uh, my day was busy. Okay. Yes. What did you do today? Okay, so it's working, okay. working, work all day. You have to work all day long. Okay, what are your obligations? Okay. What are some of your responsibilities? Tell me. How do you say finalizar mi asignación? <laughs> I finished my obligations or the job assigned it to me. The assigned to me. The assigned, work. I signed to me. The word assignment to me. Okay, great. Okay, guys. Today we are going to talk about the simple past tense. Hoy vamos a hablar del pasado simple. Okay? Well, actually, this week, because it's a long job, the one that we are going to do. And we are going to start with the, with the verbs in past. The verbs in past are very simple. The regular verbs, because we are going to work today just with regular verbs, okay? Hey, there's Ana Maria. Hello, Ana Maria, good evening. 
I don't hear you. <laughs> Sorry. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Ana Maria. How are you today? Fine. How was your day? Uh, tired. Tired? Okay, but yes. don't worry. Here you are going to relax. Well, actually, this class, today's class is a little bit heavy. Today I want you to please be patient, okay? Este día vamos a ser pacientes yes. because this class is a little bit heavy because we are we are going to work with one of the most, uh, no one of the most complex topics, but um, a little bit, a little bit complex. Not tan complicado, pero sí un poquito, okay? We are working with simple past. So, the simple past, uh, when we talk about simple past, the first thing we have to remember is that the simple past is used for finished actions. Something that is happening no more. Se utiliza para hablar de cosas que ya están terminadas. Okay? Simple past, something that ended, finishes, no more. Right? Now, the simple past tense uh, for the regular verbs is very easy. El pasado simple de los verbos regulares, it's easy cheesy. Why? Because the simple past or regular verbs for that, we just need uh, to add ed at the end of the verb. As simple as that. Para formar el pasado simple, lo único que necesitamos hacer es agregarles ed al final de los verbos. Regular verbs, verbos regulares. Irregular verbs, each verb got their own form. Los verbos irregulares, cada uno tiene su propia forma. But today we are just going to work with regular verbs. In internet, you can find list of regular and irregular verbs. En internet, usted podrá encontrar listados de verbos regulares e irregulares. But please do not try to memorize list of verbs. No trate de aprenderse listado de verbos. Not like a list, no como una lista. Because that's going to stress you. And yes, it is going to work, but mm, there, are, there is an easier way. Sí le va a funcionar, pero hay una manera más fácil. Of memorizing them, okay? Which is that one? Oh, creating your own list. ¿Cuál es esa? Creando nuestra propia lista. I will tell you how we're going to do it, okay? First of all, let's see. Let's see if we remember some regular verbs, okay? Let's see, Ana Maria, do you remember a regular verb in English? Uh, yes. Tell me uh, one. Work. Work. Perfect. Hey, guys, help me out. Give me some verbs. Ayúdenme. Let me verbo. Finish. Work. Play. Okay. Play. Okay. Finish. Eat. Play. Walk. Walk. It is irregular, Suli. Okay. Um, Run. Or give me more. Jump. Walk. Jump. Jump. Thank you. Jump. What did you say, Juan? Um, sleep. I'm sorry. I'm Run. sorry. Run. 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 Correr. Yes. That's irregular. So they were working just with regulars. I'm sorry. Es irregular. Sleep. Sleep. Irregular, Sully. Irregular. Clean. Wash. Clean. Clean. Perfect. Stay. Wash. Wash. Stay. Bye, teacher. Stay. Exercise. Exercise. Perfect. Cry. 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 Very Talk. Good. Dance. Talk. Thanks. Another, another. Can you Give. remember? Give. Watch. Watch. No, ya está, ya está, watch. Read. No, watch, no está. Let's yes. see. Watch. 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 Yes. watch. Dry. Dry. Okay. Dry. It's in past. Read. It's irregular. Sorry, Carol. Read. The, read. The, the. Oh, okay, read. Irregular read. verb. 
Okay. Okay. Right. Talk. Just with this one. Right. Oh, talk. 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 Right. Just with this one. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because you're throwing me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's breathe for a second. We have a list here. Look, we have work, finish. If you can check out in the chat, si pueden ver en el chat. We have work, finish, play, walk, jump, clean, wash, stay, pay, exercise, cry, talk, dance, watch, talk. Those are regular verbs. How do we make them into past? The regular verbs, very, very simple. I am going to show you right now how, okay? To form the simple past tense of regular verbs, we just add ed at the end of the verb in the affirmative form. Look, I watched a movie yesterday. I washed the dishes last night. I played soccer last Sunday. And remember that the simple past refers to a finished action. So let's repeat. To form the simple past tense of regular verbs, we just add ed at the end of the verb in the affirmative form. I watched a movie <laughs> I yesterday. yesterday. I, I watched. I watched the dishes last the dishes night. night. I played. I played soccer, soccer last, last Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Now, if you see, it's very simple, right? Okay. Right now, it is very simple. Okay. First, that's a personal rule that I will recommend you. La primera que le voy a dar es una regla personal. Okay. If you want to learn the verbs, what you do is try to get, get a list, but try to get the verbs that you use every day, verbs that you know you are going to use. Don't try to learn 10 or 20 a day. Choose four or five tops. Escoja cuatro o cinco. Related to your everyday activities. Que se relacionen con sus actividades diarias. Write them in a pretty little slip of paper. Escríbalas en un pequeño papelito. If you're in an office, perhaps in a post-it. And stick it next to your screen, perhaps. Your computer. So you can watch them. That way, when you do perform that action, you can see it and you can refer to it. And you don't need to say out the sentence. No necesita decirle en voz alta. Just think it. If you think the sentence, it's even better because you are thinking in English. That's what we want. To structure the sentence is very simple. We are going to see it later on. Más adelante vamos a ver cómo estructurar la oración. Very, very simple. Nothing to worry about. Okay? So, that's the first advice I could give you. Ese es el primer consejo que les daría. Don't try to get many verbs. Try to get verbs that are simple. Okay? Because there are some verbs, if you look for a list, you are going to find some verbs that you don't really use. Van a encontrar verbos que ustedes realmente no utilizan. Like, uh, let's see. Uh -huh. mm. There are some verbs that are apply to some of you, but some verbs that don't apply, like label. Label is a verb. It's a regular verb. But, ¿cuántos de ustedes etiquetan producto en su trabajo? ¿Cuál es el número 40? You don't do it, but that's to label. Okay? And perhaps some of you, perhaps... Uh, Romeo, if he does proofs, él maneja pruebas, and he has to label them with the name of the person of the origin, right? So in his case, it could apply. In su caso, podría aplicar, but not in the rest of you. So look for verbs that apply to you personally. That's going to be easier. Okay? De esa manera va a ser más fácil. Because if you go to a list, you go check a list, you will find verbs like milk. Do you know the word milk? ¿Conocen esa palabra? Milk. Oh, yeah. What is milk? Look at the chat. Leche. Leche. Oh. Leche. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a verb also. También es un verbo. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Urania. Tell me, Urania. <laughs> have you ever 
Look, listen to the sentence. Have you ever milked a cow? Mm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I you know don't... what is a cow? ¿Sabe qué es una vaca? A cow? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Look at my hands. Vea mi acción. Have you ever milked a cow? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> the, now you understand it, no? Ordeñar. No. But that's, uh -huh. not, that's not a verb that we use regularly. That's a verb that we use regularly. So, first, try to learn the ones that you use regularly. Try to utilizar los que, to learn, de aprenderse los que utiliza diariamente. That's mm -hmm. easier, okay? When you think, when you feel that you have finished it with them, you can start with some others. Cuando siente que terminó con ellos, puede comenzar con otros. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, uh, there are verbs in English that refer to the sound, okay? Like, look, knock. That's a verb, knock. That's the action we do when we knock on a door. That verb refers just to the sound. Another verb that refers like that is uh, the sound that cats make. Meow. The cats meow. That's a verb. We don't use it that much. Ese verbo no lo usamos mucho, no? So, we don't need to learn it first. No necesitamos aprenderlo primero. So, first try to focus on the one that you really use. Primero enfoques en lo que sí utilizas. Okay? As I told you, a little slip of paper. Make your own list, small list. And try to start with them. Y trata de comenzar just with them. Solo con ellos. Okay? Any question up to here? Nope? Okay. Today's class, I'm sorry, I'm going to be speaking a lot. Esta clase, lo siento, voy a estar hablando mucho. Because I'm going to explain rules. Now, I wonder, me pregunto, why does none of you have asked me about the pronunciation? ¿Por qué nadie me ha preguntado cómo se pronuncia? Have you noticed that the ED at the end is pronounced differently? Hemos notado que la ED se pronuncia de maneras diferentes. Okay, I'm going to, to give you a small explanation, a short explanation about the pronunciation. Voy a dar una pequeña y corta explicación de la pronunciación. Okay? And then I'm going to give you the second advice. Y luego le voy a dar el segundo consejo de, about how to create your list. De cómo pueden crear su lista. It's just an advice. That's what works for me. Perhaps for some of you, what works is to get the big list. Si a usted le funciona tomar la lista grande, it's okay. I'm telling you what I, what I feel that works for me. Yo le estoy diciendo lo que yo siento que me ha servido para mí. And that have worked for some people I have worked with. Y lo que les ha funcionado a algunas personas con las que yo he trabajado. Okay? So, let me show you something. Déjenme mostrarles algo. And I'm sorry, my apologies if I am using a little bit of Spanish. Okay? Disculpen si estoy usando un poquito de español. Okay, now the second situation. When we have to pronounce, okay, if a verb ends in a pronunciation of D or, oops, or T, okay, si el verbo termina en D o en T, the ED is pronounced as this, al middle, al middle, okay? Admit. You see? The verb is admit. The verb is just admit. But when we add the ED, we pronounce it admit. Okay? Just remember, we are just working with this. Ahorita solo en esto. If the verb ends in a pronunciation of a D or T, the ED is pronounced as ED. Okay, do we know another verb? Conocemos otro verbo que termine en D or, uh, or in T? Otro verbo que termine en D o en T? 
Hello? No? Want? Want. Want. Perfect. Want. Querer o desear. Excellent. So we have want. When we are the ED, we pronounce it like want to. Want to. Okay? That's the very first rule. Esa es la primera regla. Let's go to the second rule. Any question up to here? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Remember, you can stop me. This is your class, okay? Let's check out the second rule. Okay. If the pronunciation of a verb ends in R, N, I, or L, the ED is pronounced as D, like clean. Look, it ends in N. Clean. Clean. Now, what do I have? Why do I have play here? Because the verbs that ends in Y, the verbs que terminan en Y, usually the sound is el sonido es este. Listen, play. Pay. So the pronunciation is played. Because if you see, the rule says if the pronunciation and when we have a verb ending in Y, the pronunciation is like this exactly. So if the pronunciation if the pronunciation of the verb ends in R and I or L, the pronunciation is D. Clean, play. Cried, study. Okay? Because the verb is study, but we don't say study, we say study. Questions? No? Nope. No questions? Perfect. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let me share with you the next rule. If a verb ends in K, E, P, V, S, H, double S, we pronounce it as a T. Okay, oops, English. We pronounce it as a T. So we have worked, kissed, kept, dressed, looked, loved. Oops, I'm sorry, this verb doesn't belong here. Okay, yeah, keep kept, yeah, that's irregular. So in this case, remember, we have worked, kissed, dressed, looked, loved, okay? Now comes the second advice. Ahora viene my, mi segunda recomendación. What I, what I would advise you to do is if you are creating your own list, si usted está creando su propia lista de verbos, create it by sounds. Créela en base al, um, in base on the rules, en base a las reglas. Write the first rule and place there just the verbs that apply to the first rule. Y ponga ahí los verbos que aplican en la primera regla. What is the first rule? Oh, verbs ending in D or T. Verbos que terminan en D o T. That way you are just going to be practicing verbs that the pronunciation is ID. Okay? Que la pronunciación es ID. Okay? I feel like some of you are like kind of... Mm, algunos los veo un poquito perdidos. Remember, if we have verbs that ends in D or T, like admit, another verb 
that ends in D or T, otro verbo que termine en D o en T. Wait. Wait. List. Those are verbs that ends in D or in T. Okay. Let's see? We have list, so we have listed, waited, waited, listen, waited, listed, admitted. Okay, that's the first rule. Make your list like this. And just work with verbs that when you say them in past, the pronunciation is this. Now, the second rule, clean, play. In this case, verbs that the pronunciation is going to be D. We have here the letters. Give me some verbs. Ayúdenme. Pongamos más verbos acá. Hello. Come on, guys. It's a little bit complex when we see it like that, no? Se siente un poquito complicadito. Okay, what was the rule? ¿Qué decía la regla? If the verb ends in R, N, I, or L, pronounce with D. Okay, the... what about poor? You know the verb poor? Look at the chat, poor. Uh, okay. Who of you doesn't cook? ¿Quién de ustedes no cocina nunca? All of you can prepare at least a <laughs> cup of coffee, okay? Todos podemos preparar aunque sea una taza de café, ¿sí? Okay, what you do? You put the coffee and then you pour the water. Okay? You pour the water. Es vaciar de un recipiente al otro. That's poor. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ana María, do you have a garden? Yes. Okay, do you take care of your plants? Yes. Okay, so I am sure that you water your plants every day, right? The verb water means regar. So in past, what was the rule? Oh, the rule says water it, right? La regla nos decía water it. So you make your own list like that. Then, what was the next rule? ¿Cuál era la siguiente lista? Let's check it out. If a verb ends in K, E, P, V, S, H, double S, we pronounce it as a T. Okay. Worked. Kissed. Dressed. Looked. Loved. You see? Simple, no? S, H, mm, perhaps. Watch. You see? Very simple, no? Watched. So we have worked, kissed, dressed, washed, looked, loved. These are regular verbs and we use them every day. Every single day we speak with them. So if you start checking out, these are not like very difficult verbs. They're very simple. Like Romeo told me that yesterday he saw his girlfriend. Ayer vio a su novia. And he kissed her goodbye. Le dio un beso de despedida. Okay? That simple verb. Oh, Urania says that she always kissed goodbye to her husband before he leaves to work. 
antes de que el esposo se vaya a trabajar, le da un beso de despedida. Simple, ¿no? We use it every day. Do you remember the one with water? Oh, Ana María watered her plants today in the morning. Those are simple verbs that we use every day. So you can choose either verbs that you use like in your house or in your work, in your regular activities. But list them according to the pronunciation. That's going to help you in two ways. De esa manera usted, uh, you will get two birds with one stone. Va a tener dos pájaros de un tiro. You will be memorizing verbs, thinking in English, well actually three, and practicing the proper pronunciation. Y practicando la pronunciación correcta de la ED. Ok. Before I forget. Antes que se me olvide. Homework. Tarea. For tomorrow, you will have a simple homework. I want five sentences. Quiero cinco oraciones. Using simple past in the affirmative form. Cinco oraciones utilizando el pasado en la forma afirmativa. But it, they are going to be about your day. Ok. Focus on your day. Enfocadas en su día. On your daily activities. Like Urania will tell me. Oh, today I, let's see. I cook for my family. Simple, no? Today I cooked for my family. Very simple. Este día yo cociné para mi familia. Think just about five different things. And I need you to bring those sentences ready. Just five. Bring them ready because we are going to be working with the structuring of the negative and interrogative. Mañana vamos a trabajar con la estructura de la forma negativa e interrogativa. Okay? And you are going to use those sentences. And you are going to share with your classmates. Okay? La van a compartir con sus compañeros. It is very important that you bring that homework for tomorrow. Okay, by the way, uh, the platform, guys. El trabajo en la plataforma. I know that some of you have had uh, advances, and I know that some of you have had problems. Sé que algunos de ustedes han tenido avances, sé que algunos han tenido problemas. Now, there's something that I need for all of us to have clear, ok, let me see, la plataforma, si usted la abre, perdón que es español, pero quiero que quede claro, si usted abre la plataforma y le dice que la fecha de cierre es el 30 de octubre, pero eso es una cuestión administrativa, porque el sistema si nos lo pide, realmente las notas de ustedes se están sacando el 16 de octubre, ya o sea, tenemos 10 días para terminar la plataforma, ok, So, if we have problems, please, we need to work. Si hemos tenido problemitas, tenemos que trabajar. It's just 10 more days for finishing the platform. Okay? So, please, if you have any doubt, contact me. Si tienen alguna duda, contact me. Now, that was the, the advertising. Ese era el comercial. Let's go back. Okay, for your homework what you need to do is very simple how do we structure the affirmative sentence just like this the structuring of the affirmative sentence is this simple subject plus the verb in past plus complement i dance at a party i cook For my family, I washed, oops, I washed my car. You see? Remember, first the subject, then the verb, and then the complement. As simple as that. You have there subject, verb, complement. Any question? Alguna pregunta? About the structuring? No question, guys? No, no teacher. Okay. 
perfect. How nice. How nice. How nice. How nice. Let's see. Okay. Today, we are going to do a small practice because we still got time. Qué bueno que hemos avanzado. Todavía tenemos tiempo. We are going to do a small practice. So, uh, we are going to get in pairs and you are going to try to tell your classmate what you did today. At least two things that you did during this day. Okay? Right? So, and you are going to report to me. So, if Rania works with Romeo, she will tell me, oh, Romeo did this and that. Okay? You're going to talk about your classmate. So, let's make the group. One, two, okie dokie. Get in the groups. Dos oraciones. Two sentences. Ah, I got gotcha. <laughs> Two sentences Two sentence. using simple past. Simple past. <laughs> oh. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Oh, hello. Eh, cinco oraciones, ¿verdad? No, just two right now. Ah, ok, ok. The five okay. sentences are for tomorrow. Okay. Mm. In this moment, those uh, two sentences or two verbs? Two sentences. Two sentences. Okay. About about verb with about with... anything that happened to you today. Okay. Cosa que le haya ese día. Ah, okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello, guys. Teacher, este, yes. tenemos que formar eh, oraciones. Yep. Just tell her two things that you did today. Solo dígale dos cosas que hizo este día. Ah, ok. Ok. Listo, teacher. Um, I have watch watch I watch it. I watch it. Watch it. Mm -hmm. uh, One more minute. Uh, uh, new not not. Wake up. Is regular. Regular irregular irregular. Irregular. Uh huh. But don't worry. Right now it's just speaking practice. No matter if it's regular or irregular. Okay. Okay, teacher. Hurry up, 60 seconds. Okay. I go, I go up at 5 a.m. Sí. ¿Cómo se dice envié? Envié tarea. Send. Send. Ready, guys? Let's see, Carol, please start. Uh, Rom Romeo, uh, he has watched news El Salvador. Okay, he watched 
He watched the news. The news El Salvador. Okay, excellent. Okay. Great. What else? Um, no, Romeo, eh, I have, mm. two, no, he? He, has, he has, he has cleaning your car. My car? No, his car. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I was happy. <laughs> I was so happy. I said like, oh, no more problem for me. <laughs> anyway, thank he, you very much, Carol. Okay. Romeo, tell me about Carol. Carol, Carol, she ha, have, have, she had eating your bus, your bus. Okay. Reunion, reunion. Oh, she had a meeting. A meeting. With her bus. A meeting. With her bus. Her bus. bus. Her bus. Her bus. Okay, look at me, look at me, Romeo. Okay. Boss. Boss. Bus. If you bus. say bus, it's el bus. Ah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. it's the boss. 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 Thank you very much. Orania, tell me. Um, Flora send, send okay. the daughter's homework. Okay. Flora sent. Sent. Her daughter's Sense. homework. Her daughter, oh, okay. Okay, what else did Flora do? Um, Flora wake up at five o'clock. Uh, woke, no woke, woke up, woke up. Woke up? Walk. Walk, woke up. Yes, woke, woke up. up. Look in the chat, woke up. Woke up, ah, okay. Okay. Laura woke okay. up at five o'clock. Wow, five. Very early. Yes. Okay, thank you. Flora, tell me about Urania. Urania cooked the dinner for her family. Oh, great. Um, she clean, cleaned mm -hmm. her house. Perfect. Tell me, Urania, what did you cook for dinner? Mm, I cook beans. Yes. Okay. With with cream and egg. Eggs. 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 Okay, perfect. Very good. Okay, what did you have? Bread or tortillas? Ah, oh, tortillas. Mm. Oh, bread. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Urania. Okay. Sarah? Hi, teacher. Hello, Sarah. Tell me about Suli, please. I want to know about her. <laughs> okay. Suli, um, she has... Uh, no. Suli, she cooked diner for he for her family okay and cooked cooked, cooked. remember cooked cook recuerde se termina en k la pronunciación de la e de después de la k es como una t cooked okay. cook cook okay um she wake she wake up uh, woke up she woke up early Okay, tell me, Suli, about Sarah, please. I want to know about Sarah. Uh, Sarah, she she's right to work. She dropped to work. She dropped to work. Okay. And Sarah, no, she she work she worked in the park. She walked. She walk walk. Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Walked. What? Remember, there's a T at the end. Esa ed se convirtió en T. What? Walked. Perfect. What? Excellent. So remember, let's review the rules. Repasemos la regla de nuevo. Okay? Okay. 
If you want, take notes, okay? Si quieren, tomen nota. Very important that we do. Okay, their rules. Their rules are right here. Okay? If a verb ends, uh, let's make this a little bit like this. Okay. If a verb ends, in a pronunciation of a D or T, the D is pronounced as this. So, admitted, listed, waited. If the pronunciation of the verb ends in R, N, I, or L, the pronunciation is as a D. Cleaned, played. Let me change this into English, okay? So, if the pronunciation ends in R, N, I, or L, the EV is pronounced as D. Clean, played. Okay? Notice that. Remember that if it ends in Y, it's the same because Y at the end is pronounced as this. Listen in present. Play. In past, played. Clean, clean. Okay. If a verb ends in K, E, P, V, S, H, or double S, we pronounce it as a T. Worked, kissed, dressed, washed, looked, loved. Okay. Again, listen. Worked, kissed, dressed, washed, looked, loved. Right? Okay, guys, can I get out of this? Puedo salirme ya de acá? You got the rules? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So. I'm sorry if today's class has been like kind of uh, heavy, but remember when we talk about rules, it is like this. Perdón si esta clase se ha sentido un poquito pesada. Cuando hablamos de reglas, it is like this. It's kind of heavy, but it's very important that we know and not just to know that the ed goes at the end. It's very important for you to also know about the proper pronunciation. Okay. So now you got the idea how to create your own list. Ahora ya tenemos la idea de cómo crear nuestra propia lista. And that's very important. Remember, if you create your list based on the sound, basémosla en cómo va a sonar la ED. That's going to help you. And remember, if you are going to try to create a list and work with a list, don't get too many verbs. No tome demasiados verbos. Four, five tops. Cuatro, cinco, máximo, a day. No more than that. And try to use them. Try to apply them. Try to practice them. Okay? Practice is another regular verb. Okay? Now, practice. How do I pronounce it? ¿Cómo pronuncio practice? In past. Practice. Practice it. Practice it. Practice it. Practice. Remember, it just adds the practice. 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 What about study? How do you pronounce study? Study it. Study it. Study it. No. Study. 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 Yeah. Because it ends in Y. Termina en Y. And the Y 
sounds as an I. Y la Y suena como I. Y. In that case, we just pronounce the D. En ese caso, solo pronunciamos la D. Study. Okay. Está okay. Está ok, guys. ¿Any question? No. ¿Preguntas? No. Everything is clear. So we cool. Ok. Do not forget your homework, please, for tomorrow. Don't forget yes. your homework. I'm going okay. to tell everybody that they have to bring the homework for tomorrow. Ok. Ok. Yes. So if okay. they were not in the class, they still need to bring their homework. So thank you okay. very much, everybody. Have a thank good you. night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, Bye -bye. Good night everybody. Goodbye. 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 So Suli, you have no problem, no more problems with the platform? Ella. La de 4.4 es 4.4, but could you solve it? Eh, le puedo compartir. Ok, le just puedo... give me a second. Ok. Ok, let's see, because I need to stop the recording right now. Debo de tener la grabación.